Magic Cube version 1971 beta has been released, finally, uh, with some great new features. And we're going to run through and look at the new features in this video here. Uh, so first off, uh, one of the new things in here is our new visual framing blade system. We've shown this uh, a couple of trade shows recently, so let's dive in and take a look. Uh, this is designed for profile fixtures, and it works with both framing uh, style systems, whether that's the in and swivel or the two corner uh, uh, system. So if I go ahead, I've got some profiles patched in here, some force three profiles. I go to my position window. I'm just going to tilt them onto the back wall so we can see what we're doing. Let's go to the beam window, and I'm just going to zoom these down a little bit. There we go. Uh, inside the beam window, you'll now see there's a soft button at the top called View Blades. And this takes me into my Blades window, where I now have visual control of the framing shutter system. So here I've got my four uh, blades, and you can just grab a blade, and you can wind it in and also adjust the angle. So I can go and take these two blades here, set an angle here, pull up another blade, so I can uh, set control you know, the blades across multiple fixtures all at once. Now there's two rotates. Uh, the center rotate, if I grab the blue arrow, rotates the gate inside the head itself. You can see in my visualizer as I do that, uh, this rotates. As I pull out a blade, though, if I pull this one out and have this here, uh, if I grab the outer ring, it allows me to rotate only the view on the console. So this is useful if I maybe flip the tilt on the fixtures and I just want to match the window to reality, to exactly what I'm seeing. Okay, I want to just adjust, and that's what I'm seeing here, uh, so I can adjust my window to match uh, the reality of my output. So I can rotate the window or rotate the uh, gate on the fixture itself. I've got two views uh, inside here, so I've got page one gives me um, each of my framing shutters in and swivel um, on my encoders. Uh, page two though is most useful if actually I'm using the window for visually setting the framing shutter. Uh, it gives me things like pan and tilt on my encoders uh, and things like focus and zoom uh, and frost on my uh, left hand encoders here. Again, just other useful things that you're going to want as you're adjusting your framing uh, blades or framing shutters. Um, if I pull in a framing shutter here, we have a, uh, a blade offset, so I adjust number two here. I can shift that round, okay, put that on blade three, four, and back to one, two, etc. So I have my forward and backwards frame offset. Uh, if I'm pulling in a framing blades and I've kind of got all a bit wrong, I want to reset. There is a, uh, a blade reset button, which I can pull, which will reset all the blades back out again. I have multi-blade, which allows me to mirror blades, okay, take the opposite pairs, like so. Uh, or I can go all blades, so if I want to do a, quite, a nice tight square focus, I can take all four blades together and bring those in and out. Um, again, reset blades will zero the whole thing out again. Um, over here, on the left-hand side, I can zoom in uh, to the system. Now, uh, most useful if I'm using the controls over here, so with controls on my soft buttons, I can add arrows for okay, dragging a blade in and rotating it, or take this blade in and rotate. Um, or I can have my sort of almost like four point keystoning, drag in the points of my blades and bring these in here. Um, or I can zoom back out, turn the controls off and go back to just using the ends of the framing shutters. So yeah, a great new visual way of controlling flame, framing shutters uh, in our 1971 release. Um, we've also added a couple of new effects. Um, so you'll see these in the pixel mapper and simple pixel map effects. Uh, we're calling them fizzles and sparkles. A little late for Christmas, but ready for next year. Um, here's one I made earlier, just to show you uh, how these work. If I run through this Q stack here, which has got it's clear my programmer, um, a couple of effects in there. You can see there's a new uh, sparkle effect here. I've got my sparkle effect in the pixel mapper. Uh, and there's also a fizzle, which is a fizzle out. So I can have another effect running. I can fizzle out uh, back into a uh, static color. So yeah, some new effects uh, in the pixel mapper. Uh, what else have we got? Well, if I go to my setup window, uh, we know we love using our lock screen or splash screen images. So this is the screen you see when Magic U starts up, or it could be the screen you see when you lock your console. Um, I won't show you on a PC here, but if I was on a console and I quickly wanted to lock my console, uh, if I hold down the three cursor keys, so left, down, and right, hold those three down and tap the up arrow, we'll lock the console, it will shortcut for you. Uh, and we now have made it easy to set the image that's used for that. Um, if you go to your setup window, go to view settings, go to mode here, um, you'll see as I go down here, there's an option here called splash image. Double click here, takes you into the bitmaps folder inside your show folder where you can go and pick a file. And now when you lock the console, it will use that image. Much easier of setting the splash image. Um, it's also worth saying that this is now part of the XHW file. So if you're using backup the USB uh, or you're just saving it on the console and you're loading a show, it will put the XHW file um, and you will get that coming with the show file. So you want to take your, your show onto a 
console at a festival or somewhere, we've got the XHW, it'll all load and come nicely with the audio and all the other good stuff as well. Um, also to mention in 1971, uh, I haven't got a QSYS system here, uh, but I can just show you the change notes here. Uh, we have now written our own plugin for QSYS. So for installation purposes, uh, we allow you uh, to have control over the 10 playbacks over MagicQ uh, zones, so all 50 zones uh, or up to uh, 1 to 100 there. Uh, and also Q stacks out of the stack store. Um, we allow you to toggle those on and off. So it's a native plugin that you can download, available on the Camsys website, much like the 1971 release. You can install and use with QSYS um, uh, alongside MagicQ there. Uh, what else have we got then? Uh, so uh, the ability in Execute Windows to now share regions over multiple pages. So you'll notice in the Execute window, if I was to change to another page here and have a region here, region one, I can now share items over uh, multiple execute pages so I can have a region one on each page and reference the same IDs and have uh, the content shared there so I can toggle to item two and it will update both pages all at once. Uh, so there you go, uh, a couple of the highlights uh, in our 1971 release uh, available now on the Camsys website. Hopefully it's been a useful video for you. We'd love to hear your feedback on how you're using uh, the feature in 1971. Download it now and let us know how you get on.